Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, we're gonna get straight into doing some smocking. We're gonna do a leaf pattern and we're also going to use a transfer print over the top of it as I'd like to see how we can change up the smocking again. All right then, let's go. Here we go. So I am starting the leaf pattern and I'm following the diagonals. Then I pinch the fabric together and I do a tiny little stitch and then just threading my needle through the hoop of the thread there. Then I'm going in with another little stitch and once again through the hoop, that'll secure it, pulling that nice and tight. And then heading over horizontally and then bringing my needle through, I'm gonna leave a little bit of the thread slack and then I'm going back through that same stitch for a second time so that that thread doesn't come undone then I'm going diagonally down to the bottom of that right hand side of the square I'm going to pull it pinch the fabric so that the corner, corners join up and then I'm going to pop a little stitch through and another little stitch through and then taking my needle through the hoop. Pulling it tight and then I'm heading over to the right hand side horizontally. I'm just putting my finger underneath the thread because that will just give it a little bit of slack. And I'm gonna do two stitches there. And then you can see I'm heading down diagonally. I'm going to pull the thread. Making sure that there's no little ripples of fabric in there. And I just pinch it, the fabric, and put a stitch through. And then I pop my needle through the loop. And then I'm going through again. I have actually previously done a leaf pattern smocking video which um, perhaps does go into a little bit more detail than I've done here because the emphasis of this video really is to use the leaf pattern um, smocking as base and then we're going to be doing a transfer print over the top of it. But you can see I'm just heading down that first row. It's not particularly a difficult design but with the whole Canadian smocking it is more about it's quite time consuming because the pattern is always repeated it is quite simple to do particularly as you're if you're used to sewing hand stitching it's a really good one to get into I find it quite therapeutic when you're just sort of finishing off um, some of the designs and yeah it's just such great results I love doing them Okay, so we have finished. That's the leaf pattern. Oh no, the camera's skewing. Sorry about that. That's better. Okay, so yeah. Is it better? <laughs> oh, maybe not. 
Anyway, that's the leaf pattern and we are ready to do the transfer print over the top. So what I would like to do next, from this little piece that I did a while ago with the Saturday class, I would like to be inspired by the colours and I want to do the transfer print onto this leaf smocking idea. I have got my colours, my transfer print colours over here. And, you know, with the colours that they are, I'm not going to be able to get the exact colours of these bright ones over here at all. So I'll do my best and need to just remember that it's going to be flipped over the design and I'm not going to get exactly the same as this piece. I'm just going to be inspired by some of the shapes and the patterns and the colours and um, some of those elements into an A4 piece of paper. And so I'll just have a play around with that now. You can see here that I am pretty much putting block colours in and right now I'm just kind of keeping quite a thin layer but you can put many layers on but I'm just going to see sort of how this comes out on the cotton fabric in a minute. And we're going straight in with blow drying the paper, getting the paint dry. And then you just spin it over and place it on top of the fabric that you want to do the transfer print over. So I'm just using my iron on kind of medium heat there and just going all around the corners and just taking my time double checking all the time how the print's looking underneath you can certainly iron it for longer and what I'm doing there is I'm just starting to pucker up all the smocking so that I can sort of see the smocking a little bit more. Obviously it's been flattened with the iron. Yeah, and I'm just wanting to see a little bit of the white fabric showing through. So I've just shown you there, that was my original little painting that I did of some street art. Then I've got the transfer paints on some thin paper, just a really cheap um, drawing pad that I got and then the results. It's a little mini mannequin and because it's come out so pale on the cotton fabric it was much better when I did the transfer prints on the satin fabric previously. So I just want to see just because I feel like when you separate it a little bit 
You can see the white fabric showing through and then there's more emphasis on the smocking. Like that. So I just want to see what it's going to look like on here. And I can hear a little visitor coming. My friend Layla. Let's try that out. Hi Layla. Hello baby. Come say hello. the best for cuddles aren't you see what I mean when you stretch these out you can see the white fabric shown through I just think that's awesome I guess you could stuff the back a bit more to get those a bit more pronounced I like that So what do you reckon? That looks way better, doesn't it, around the silhouette? So I hope you've enjoyed my video today and if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and if you've not subscribed already and you've enjoyed this content today I do plenty more like this so I'd love to have you as a viewer please jump on board and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, bye!